Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite open field marches of 2022. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Oh my God, I'm so incredibly focused after drinking some gamer subs. You can save 10% with the link down below. Anyway, what's going on guys? As you can see, we have every single relevant commander here besides Dragon Lancer, and we're going to be going through and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorites and what I feel to be uh, some of the most powerful open field marches in Rise of Kingdoms. Now that we're in 2022 okay it's a new gear we're starting off right we're going to be talking about what i think you guys should be investing in if you're new to the game now this is a website called tier maker i didn't custom make this tier list okay there will be a link in the pinned comment if you guys want to i don't know use this to plan out your future plans for rise of kingdoms i get a lot of comments about it so look down below but this is not going to be in any particular order okay it's not like this top one is like the best pair and this is the second best pair like i'm just going to give you guys what i feel are the best pairs and then you can decide in which order you want to invest in them and you know if you already have some of them great you can move on to the next one so without further ado let's go ahead and move my first pair into the list here and the first pair is going to be Guan with Leo. Okay. This is a classic pair. It's a pair that's been in the game for a long time. It's tried and true. And the best part is that it is neither commander needs to be expertise. Guan can be a five, one, five, five, and Leo can be five, five, one, one. If we take a look at my own commanders. Okay. My Guan, I got lucky enough to get him to five, two, five, five. So not perfectly optimal, but close and my Leonidas down here, five, five, one, two. So I had a little bit of extra sculptures from winning MGE, but that's, that's what I'm using. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I think this is a perfectly fine combination. You don't necessarily have to take it all the way to expertise for either of them. And that's why it's the first pair that I want to talk about here in this video, because it's just so dang efficient with your sculptures moving on. Now, if you have Guan, but you don't have Leo, you can also substitute in Alex. Okay. You could do a Guan Alex. Alex does have to be expertise but I do know that Alex is a commander that more people have uh, than Leonidas. So keep that in mind. But for now, we'll just move Alex out of the way. We'll talk about him later. The next pair that I want to talk about is one that people mostly talk about for rallies, and that is Pakal Herald. Okay. This is actually an incredibly good open field march, specifically if you are on the losing side of a battle, whether it's Ark of Osiris, KVK, whatever the case might be, if you are on the losing side, you can rely on Pakal Herald to get you some really nice trades. The reason that it's so good when you're losing is because if you get swarmed, you're still going to get insane trades, just like Attila Takeda, except here you've got some AOE, you've got some counterattack damage. It's insane. Okay. So this is a very good pair. Is it the first pair that I would, that I would recommend you invest in? I would say probably not. Okay. Because Pakal is a very late game, mightiest governor commander the herald obviously wheel of fortune and realistically this is like the only pair that you can really do with pakal from what i've seen it's the most viable pair for pakal so you really need to have both uh whereas for herald for example you can do things like alex herald and i think that's an incredibly good combination as well i think it maybe deals a little bit more single target damage and obviously you've got the shield that you can give to other players uh but you're you're not as tanky as having pakal right so definitely not the first pair that i would invest in the pakal herald um because you do need both pieces here pakal really is is this is the one thing that he's really going to be good at in open field but nonetheless i think this pair is exceptionally good in the open field especially if you're losing now the next pair i want to talk about is nebu with isong a okay this combination is tried and true it is a pure damage archer build just straight up tons of aoe tons of skill damage this is tried and true you cannot go wrong with this and the best part is that your nebu doesn't even have to be expertise if you get a five five one five nebu you aren't really losing out on that much yes the expertise is nice on him but you're saving so many sculptures by skipping that third skill assuming that you can with either getting lucky or with skill resets i just think this is like the best open field 
archer pair especially considering one of them doesn't need to be expertise of course if you have Ramses and you've expertise Ramses or you have taken him to a very powerful level whether it's five 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 one or whatever the case might be you can do uh sort of a Ramses e song that's also a very tried and true popular combination uh this is a little bit more single target damage and a little bit less AoE there's a pros and cons to both I personally think I'm a big fan of Nebu uh, I love the extra AoE on Nebu and the skill damage bonus on e song plus the rage on his song it's great now the fourth pair we're going to talk about here has some options okay so we're going to be talking about a cavalry march now this is uh the the choices that you have are a saladin william or a zhang yu primary william secondary now many players will argue that the zhang yu william is a better combination and i would say as far as open field just straight up damage then absolute true absolute true the reason that I'm a big fan of Saladin instead of Zhang Yu is one Saladin has been in the game for much longer so many players already have Saladin uh and so all you need to complete this piece is throwing William on there and then you're good to go the other thing with this pair and, and what makes this pair so good is that none of these commanders need to be expertise Saladin is infamous for being one of the best if not the best five 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 one commander in the game because that last skill you don't need for open field and the expertise is a minor difference William same sort of deal obviously having that fourth skill at max would be nice but do you need it I don't think you do really what you're doing here is giving a little defense bonus and a nice little rage buff for your allies and the only thing that you gain by bringing it to five is an extra 10 percent defense for yourself and your allies is that good yes is it worth it you know maybe it's up to you if you have the extra sculptures i would say expertise william before you expertise saladin now again with zhang yu the third skill open field you don't need it but zhang yu does have a good expertise so if you're gonna go zhang yu primary i would say you probably want to expertise him that's really your call the thing about saladin is that you don't need to worry about skill resets or anything you have complete control over skipping the fourth skill and that is what is so beautiful about it also Saladin while he isn't as uh you know effective at AoE and dealing damage in the open field like Zhang Yu is he is more tanky he has the support tree so you're gonna be able to slow things down you've got the rage regeneration on the support tree as well so because he's a little bit more supportive and he's got that extra tankiness I think Saladin is an excellent choice however if you have none of these three and you're in the late game I would say probably go with Zhang Yu William okay it's just gonna deal more damage it's just gonna be better in the open field but realistically I think either of these choices are exceptionally good with William secondary next we're gonna talk about three different pairs and which of these three that you pick for your fifth March is going to be up to you because all of these pairs are really good okay I would say these top four are undoubtedly some of the four best open field pairs in the game the fifth pair again is going to be sort of what you prefer so the first one I want to talk about is Trajan with Ethelflaed now realistically if you're going to expertise Trajan you probably want to use him with Harold and if that's the case then you really don't have too much of a use for Pakal the reason that I put Pakal Harold here instead of Trajan Harold is simply because of equipment I think that it's easier to get a full infantry set of equipment to use on Pakal than it is to get a mixed set of equipment for your Trajan is that true not necessarily but if you're going for getting a special talent you're more likely going to have special talented equipment for a specific troop type then you will have a specially built set of equipment specifically for leadership and that's the one downside to Trajan so if you are a medium to high spender and you are able to get that perfectly talented set for Trajan then I would say Trajan Herald is probably a better choice than Pakal Herald but to keep things simple and for most players I think most players are going to have a a really nice infantry set then they will a really nice leadership set with that being said if you have these four pairs and you love them and you still want to go for Trajan you can pair Trajan with Ethelflaed and you'll have a very solid March I think this is an incredible March to have for the open field and realistically I love Trajan he's very good not only in the open field but also in your Canyon team he can sort of replace Constantine 
in your canyon team as well even at 5511 probably one of the best open field commanders in the game it's just for most players if you're free to play or a low spender you're just not going to have that special talented leadership set moving on to the next pair that you could choose from and finally something to pair with alex is chook now i'm not in love with this pair i think this is a very good infantry pair and honestly if you're focusing mainly on infantry i would say this is one of the pairs that you're inevitably going to use the only problem with this pair is that it's a little bit squishy it can't really take damage that well but besides that it is going to be able to deal a lot of really nice damage in the open field it's not for anything else other than just being an insanely powerful infantry march i think this is honestly the best use for alex if you're not using Alex with Guan as a secondary or Alex with Harold as a secondary. This is honestly an insanely good pair. If you have Harold Alex, that's great. Um, however, again, if your Leo is uh, paired with your Guan and you have Pakal Harold, which I think Pakal Harold is probably better than Alex Harold, harder to get, obviously, comes around much later, requires a mightiest governor commander, all that stuff, or, or at least less likely that, that some of you guys watching may have it. Um, but if you have these two pairs, then really, I think the best thing you could do with your Alex is pair him with Chook. Now, this may change if they, you know, put new infantry commanders into the game. Uh, I think Alex is still probably always going to be somewhat relevant, um, obviously insanely relevant throughout most of the game. Um, in Season of Conquest, he is still insanely relevant and very powerful. But I think you're going to see these pairs a little bit more, at least from the high end players. So if you have this build already, throw Chook on Alex and you're good to go. Do I recommend investing in this pair right away? No, I would say these pairs are more important than an Alex Chook, right? But still a very high performing pair that you could go with if everything else up here is finished. Finally, we're going to talk about a Manatore with Artemisia. This is another really powerful open field pair for archers now everybody knows we've got some aoe here okay this pair is very good also as a garrison pair which is exceptional i love that personally this is not a pair that i use or have experience with but i do know that many players swear by this pair in the open field especially artemisia and you could even make the case that an artemisia with tamiris is also an insanely good pair that you can focus on especially because tamiris doesn't really need to be expertise artemisia doesn't really need to be expertise if you're using them in the open field so the final pairing that i would recommend would be uh, artemisia secondary a mandatory primary and if you don't have a mandatory then i would go with something like this now again these three pairs no matter which one you go for they can all take the fifth pair slot it's up to you uh, i would say the first again the first four are a bit more set in stone i just think these pairs are so good in the open field that it's hard to argue that they're not whereas the three down here i think are a little bit more subjective based on the direction that your account is taking if you're taking a full infantry route then i would see i would say go with alex chook if you're going more of an archer route i would say go with the the final pair here whether it's uh, a mandatory artemisia or artemisia tamiris and if you want to go with trajan which i think would be an exceptional choice uh then you would just have to make sure you have the equipment for him and that would be a good option as well now i do want to touch on a few honorable mentions here okay uh the first one being attila takeda i think this is an obvious honorable mention the way that i look at attila takeda is it's more of a selfish march you're not doing that much in the open field other than getting really good trades for yourself and if that's what you're looking for if you're looking to boost the stats of your account getting more kills with fewer deads then this is the way to go i think attila takeda is exceptional in the open field there's a couple of downsides again a there's no aoe uh you're really not being that supportive in the open field you're just a march there that if you're swarmed you're still going to perform really well the other downside here is that attila mightiest governor commander and both of these commanders do need to be expertise whereas if you look at a lot of the other commanders on the list here like they don't need to be okay but call herald obviously that needs to be expertise uh but 
guan nope leo nope nebu nope isong yes you do have to expertise him these three no with the exception of you know usually you would want to expertise zhang yu these commanders yes but one of them is free here yes both of these have to be and here depends on the pair but this pair absolutely needs to be expertise so it's a huge sculpture investment uh, and it's really only good for your account and if you have this pair you should use this pair in the open field it's very good next I want to talk about Charles Martel uh, Charles Martel is a fan favorite and he does perform really well I think the best thing you could pair him with right now would be Harold I think that's a pretty well-known fact that there's just a lot of counterattack damage here there's also if swarmed the AoE on Harold there's a little bit of tankiness with the shield so we love that there's the health bonus on on uh, Charles Martel with the defense bonus that everybody loves especially as expertise the downside of this pair is that I did find it wasn't performing that well in uh season of conquest from what I saw uh, and and I used him a ton I love Charles Martel but realistically speaking it doesn't perform as well as Pakal Herald it doesn't perform as well as Alex Herald uh from what I've seen so in season of conquest uh Martel definitely falls off a little bit but still very good and since a lot of you guys are probably going to have him I would recommend using him either with Harold or you could use him with somebody like Ethel fled or you could use him as sort of a supportive March and pair him with somebody like Joan of Arc and I think that would be very very good you could also pair him with Alex as well that's sort of up to you so there's plenty of open field uses for Martel I just don't think that he really makes the uh the top five list so he's going to be down here in the honorable mentions finally I do want to talk about Constantine I think Constantine has sort of lost the spotlights ever since Trajan came into the game and we've gotten tons of more commanders for garrisons tons more infantry open field commanders uh Constantine has really fallen short but the good thing with Constantine is that a 5511 is pretty much all you need so if you do want to use Constantine in the open field strictly for support keep that in mind you're not going to get kills with Constantine you're just you're just not okay uh, but if you do want to use Constantine to support all of your allies in the open field that would be a good thing uh, that would be very useful and I would say pair him with Joan of Arc and you would have a very supportive open field March here I think that's sort of the only use that you could justify uh you know Constantine for you don't want to pair him with like Richard for more tankiness you don't want to pair him with too much else maybe you could pair him with you know with Alex if you're if your Constantine is performing better than your Martel um you could do something like uh something like that instead um but realistically uh Constantine is really only in the discussion as a supportive commander and Joan of Arc is sort of the best secondary for that job all right with that being said these are pretty much the best choices that I think that are in rise of kingdoms at the time of recording this obviously we are in 2022 now it's a brand new year so that means there's probably going to be new commanders coming into the game probably pretty soon so hopefully this video helps you figure out which commanders you should be focusing on and hopefully this year we'll see some new commanders that will shake up the meta just a little bit if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your favorite open field commanders and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace